morning everybody and there's probably a really bizarre sun glare on me right now because I can kind of see it in the viewfinder thing. I'm on my way to the gym. Actually first I'm going to the bank really quick to take out some cash because I am hitting up the farmer's market. It's back in town. It actually um started last Sunday but we were moving so we couldn't get there obviously. I can't believe it's been one week since we've moved in and so much has been done already it's fantastic so yeah I'm gonna pick up some cash just in case I see anything that I um, want to buy uh, I know that there last year I got this tomato spread and it was by a company called Bobby's tomatoes and it was really really delicious so I may get that but I'm hoping to get a good deal on some veggies uh, that's really all I know and then it is sweating time we were going to go to the beach today but I don't know if it's going to be warm enough and I don't have my beach pass yet because the town I live in has private beaches but you have to like pay to get a beach pass for it. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to go there yet or not because it's a little cool. A little on the cool side still. So that's pretty much it for now and I'll see you guys when I'm super duper sweaty. Not mannequins. We're not mannequins. We're real people. All I smell is liquor. <laughs> When you put your arms around me, has it Woo! That was really good. Good job, guys. Where are we? We are at the beach with we, weird kids. Why would she know that I'm just like can't be on the phone? She's pretty good about that because I feel like she hates the phone herself. So this is where we are. We're at the beach. But the, these kids just pulled it. These creepy, weird kids. They all look like the deranged skater version of Hanson. What are they doing with it? Well, he's putting it down now. They found a dead stingray in the water and they right. put it over there. They're all the. Hold on. They're all the way over there. And I don't know what they're doing. I think they're burying it. Are they burying it? Yeah, they they're eating it. <laughs> so weird. So, yeah, we're on the beach. Children in the corn on the beach. You wouldn't understand that, right? I don't like scary movies. She doesn't like scary movies, apparently. See you later. Back from the beach, and I just went to my local health food store to see if they had anything there. And I actually picked up a few things because I went hungry, which is never smart. And I also wanted to show you what I got at the farmer's market this morning. So they were having a sale on Angie's uh, popcorn. And instead of getting Boom Chicka Pop, I got the Slightly White Cheddar. Slightly Sweet. No, it's just called Sweetly. Not Slightly Sweet. I don't know why I said that. Um, and they were two for five, which is a really good deal for Angie's. Then I picked up Snap, snap Pea Crisps, which these are like my favorite little snack. Um, 22 pieces. In this bag is three and a half servings. 22 pieces is only 120 calories, and it's just green peas uh, cooked in corn oil and dehydrated. And then I picked up some Applegate Naturals honey and maple turkey breast, so I could have that with eggs or, you know, because I feel bad. Eddie always gets cold cuts, and I never buy them, and then I regret it because I always want to have, like, my eggs with um, turkey instead of bacon, and, you know, it's a whole long spiel. Then I picked up these, and I had these at Natural Expos East, and then I have, which was back in September when I went to Fit Blogging, and I haven't had them since. And I sampled them there, and then a few weeks ago I went to the local food store Sherry's with Becky and Lauren, and I was like, guys, you got to get them; they're so good. And this is the they're called Crunch Quinoa Burgers. They're gluten free, veggie burgers, soy free, wheat free, nut free, egg free, dairy free, corn free, light sodium, and basically 
They are the ingredients anywhere on here? Yeah, it's all a bunch of organic ingredients. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. There's not one bad thing in here. And one burger, <laughs> one burger is 190 calories. So I got those to have as like, you know, a lunch this week, maybe with a salad, or I can have with sweet potato fries for a lunch. Um, and then last but not least, this was a total splurge because I've heard a lot about it, but I've never had it. PB Crave Cookie Nookie Peanut Butter with wild honey, chocolate chips, and it's cookie dough flavored peanut butter. I don't even really eat peanut butter anymore because, um, I don't know, I just really don't eat it and I don't like the way that it makes me feel. But I saw that and I was like, you know what? Homegirl's gonna have to pick that up real quick, real quick. And then at the farmer's market, I really didn't get too much at the farmer's market. Um, I did get, I'm gonna go into this, the light because I noticed that some of the footage of Eddie yesterday when he was in here was um, dark. And excuse my hair, I just got out of the shower and didn't do anything, I didn't even brush it. So I picked up a ciabatta loaf because we are having paninis this evening. I'm having, oh, I'll show you guys what we make it. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna spoil it. Uh, and then in this bag, was a fresh mozzarella sausage roll, yeah, that I got for Eddie. Then I got this, and I'm so excited about it. Um, it's new. It's called Tria Organics, and it's Triquita, I think it's called. Banana chia seed pudding. It's all local made. Uh, all the ingredients are on the back. This whole jar is one serving. The women that started this company, um, they're so they're really cute. They're they're best friends. Uh, and the woman was telling her friend, she's like, yeah, I have chia seeds before I go on a long run because they give me energy. And I was like, you know what? I never thought to have something with chia before a workout. And she was just saying like the holding power uh, of chia seeds and whatever, it gives you energy. And I was like, you know, I really just, I just never thought of it. So the friend researched like chia pudding and she's like, you know, I could probably make a business out of this. So they did and they have four flavors, green tea, which Becky ended up getting. It was really good. I tried it. Vanilla plain and the banana which actually just debuted today and i had it and i love anything banana flavored so i got it and it's 200 calories for the whole pudding but i probably wouldn't eat that whole thing in one sitting anyway uh because it's just too filling so i got that and then i got the dogs coconut peanut butter dog cookies which i don't know where i put them only chance like them as you guys saw in the clip that i showed you earlier so that's pretty much it for now um I'm gonna go up late, yes, up, up late. I'm gonna upload yesterday's vlog and relax until dinner time because I'm exhausted. It's four o'clock, can't wait to just do nothing for the rest of the night, but I do have to give the dogs a bath. That's it though. What's going on, peeps? What's up guys? Um, so, uh, basically just folding up some towels and some miscellaneous stuff. I don't know why it zoomed in like that. That's better. Okay, so yeah, so I'm doing that and I'm also working on cleaning a fan that we have, the good fan for our bedroom. Um, it's disgusting and needs to be cleaned. So I need to take it apart, but I don't exactly know how. So this could prove to be a nice little project for me, but it's gonna get done. We're gonna have a nice, clean, loud fan, keep the boys you know, asleep at night. And uh, yeah, and that's it. Love you, bye. So we are going to start prepping for dinner soon while I am for my set, my panini. We're having paninis tonight. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but uh, I think I did actually now that I think of it. So what I'm doing is I bought this eggplant actually last week uh, at Best Yet Market and it's still good, but I'm using it for my sandwich tonight and I'm grilling it in my Rachel Ray grill pan. And I just, I have like these pieces to do still, but it only fits a few at a time. I could have used the griddler, but we're going to be using it for our paninis, so I figured I wouldn't do that. And what I have is one of my new oils from the Crushed Olive. And this flavor is, or, yeah, flavor, is Tuscan Herb. And I'm also going to be using uh, the Tuscan Herb oil on my actual panini. So I figured if I cooked the eggplant in this oil rather than regular olive oil. It'll kind of bring out some of those flavors. Um, I am using a little regular extra virgin olive oil because I don't want to waste my new oil. And then in my new handy dandy, this is like the Mercedes of salad spinners because look, watch, it has a break. 
How sick is that? Um, I just put kale in here and I washed it and I'm just drying it as good as I can. And I'm going to be making some kale chips because um, I'm really having just a vegetarian dinner tonight. I'm feeling like a little gross from all the bad eating and drinking this week. And I just feel like I haven't really been as healthy as I could be. So um kind of just going to take it down a notch and have a vegetarian panini. And Eddie is going to have a smoked turkey and gouda. So I will definitely show you guys as that process goes on. Kale chips are massaged and seasoned and ready to go in the oven, which I preheated. My eggplant is done and I definitely am going to have leftovers. Then over here I have my basil, tomato, and mozzarella for the rest of my panini. And then at the request of my fiance, I made chicken, mozzarella, tomato, basil, and basil. with the new herb, um, Tuscan herb oil. Fantastic. It's good, right? So. You said no one was going to see. <laughs> Can I show them now that you said it? Come in here. Guys, Eddie asked me to. Every time Eddie asks me to put lotion on him, I always screw it up. It looks like he has a bra on. <laughs> He's like burnt here because he's from the ride. Then he had like a tank top line and now his belly's burnt. So it looks like he has a freaking bra on. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, the back, I did a really bad job. I, as you can see, there's splotches. Love you. Because when you take- Here, can you take this? A spray. Um, like an aerosol spray sunblock, you're supposed to stand at a distance and just miss the person with it. Oh, she I stood, know. She stood right up on me. It was like, psst, psst, like she was tagging a, a you know, a train station wall. Yeah. Well, you did well. Let me see now what the result was. Okay. We'll, so, we'll get back to you when uh, we cook because I think we're going to start soon. We are going to start soon, yes. All right. Love you. Love you. All right, I've started the panini process. So I have two pieces of the eggplant, two pieces of mozzarella, four slices of tomato, three basil leaves, and then I did the Tuscan herb. I was thinking about doing my uh, apple balsamic, but I think that the Tuscan herb is really gonna work well. So what I'm gonna do is just pop this, when the time is ready, I'm gonna pop this on top and then it's gonna go into the panini maker. And I'm really excited. All right, so. I am preparing a kind of Chipotle Southwest Smoky mayonnaise. So I took some mayonnaise and I took some of my Southwest seasoning and some of my Caribbean jerk seasoning to give it a little bit of a kick. Um, I may have to add a little more, but I don't have any little tiny dishes to add this to. Yeah, that's to where mix those it. went. Um, so I'm kind of just doing it on the fly here. Alright. Um, no, it's not ready yet. It needs more. No, not that. It needs more sweet and sweet and smoky Southwest okay. seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more on there. Then we'll change the color of the mayo up a little bit. So let's just smash this around. I'm gonna put you down so I can have two hands ready when I do this, so you'll just have to look at my pretty face as I do this. Aww, it's such a pretty face. Are you making fun of me? Are you making fun of me? No, but now I am. Well, I'm getting my panini ready for the oves. Medium or high, Ed? Bullseye. Medium high. Yeah. Oh, you you get good. I go so smart. Okay. So definitely about. Can I try it? Yes. Get on in there. Is it spicy? No, not really. That's gonna be so good. I know. Everything I make is good. We're good cooks. Um. All right. So I'm really dark here. So all you really see is my silhouette. So. Does that help? Not really, but see you guys in a little while. She's about to get pressed. I don't know how, like, you know when to do it, though. That's the only thing. Do I just do it? Do I just go for it? Is the green light on? Is, the, is it hot enough? Wait, what should be green? The uh, knob on the right. No, there's no off. color. Shake it off until then. Oh. Okay, guys. Pause more. Vegetarian panini complete. I can't wait to try it. And Eddie's is done, too. 
You didn't cut yours? No. Should I? And the kale chips. I, I don't know. It's easier for me to eat when my food's cut. Um, oh, and the I'm kale chips came out freaking amazing. And for anybody that wants my kale chip recipe, it will be one of the recipes on my cooking show, which should be releasing... The first video should be coming out hopefully this week. Um, the videographer, editor got sick, so and he just has so many videos he needs to do, so it got pushed back a little bit. But I'm hoping it's up this week so I can share it with all of you, um, if not next week. But Eddie and I are going to have our first Sunday dinner as a family in our new home. Yep. And we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Yep. All right, kids, that's going to wrap it up for this night. This night. God, this day, today's vlog. Um, finally ex uploading Friday and Saturday's like double vlog that I did. And it took, I think there was five failed exports and it's 25 minutes long. So obviously you've already watched it by the time you're watching this one, but I just wanted to say, as always, I was having issues. I don't know why iMovie does that from time to time. I don't know if anybody else, if any of you edit and you know, Jess. Um, but yeah, I'm watching Real Housewives in New Jersey and princesses of Long Island, which by the way, as a born and bred South Shore Long Island girl, it is nothing, nothing like us at all. And I'm half Jewish. So just saying, they give us a bad rep. Eddie? I'm half Jewish too, the good half. And I <laughs> am nothing like me. <laughs> what? Yep. Alright, well yeah. Said that. Have See a good you guys weekend. Tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow.